very soon in Nigeria, eh, if you cannot explain the source of your wealth, hmm, you might be liable to be arrested and maybe possibly sent to jail until you are able to explain the source of your wealth. Very soon in my country, Nigeria, if you cannot explain how you think make the money may you will lose, if you arrest you. <laughs> but in Nigeria also, they do not ask us how we how come we are poor. They don't ask people how come you are languishing in poverty. In fact, you should be arrested because you are poor. You should be arrested because you are in poverty. The government should be arresting any poor person and ask that person, why are you poor? Why are you languishing in, po in poverty? Don't you know it's a crime to be poor in Nigeria? No, it's not a crime to be poor in Nigeria. In fact, it's not a crime to be poor in anywhere. But it's a crime to get rich. It's a crime to get rich. And if you cannot explain how you got that money, you are even in a real deeper crime. So EMCC chairman seeks legislation against unexplained wealth. The chairman of uh, the Financial Economy, Financial and Crime Commission, Ola, has called for legislation against unexplained wealth as a way of checking the criminal activities of treasury looters in the country. Although these uh, news might not go well with ordinary Nigerians who are hustling for themselves, but if you check it the other way, it is somehow a good news. It is somehow a good step because of our civil servants, because of our government officials. You see a government officials with a basic salary of, uh, let me say, uh, per year of, uh, of 10 million naira, 15 million naira, and allowances not even up to, let me say, 5 million. Let me say everything it takes home per year is like 30 million. For example, 30 million naira. And that person has a house in the Tama worth 500 million naira. Such person have a car. Combined car worth under something 300, even close to a billion. That person has property close to 3 billion. He has that person has no business, nothing, nothing, just building properties. It seems like the money is falling from somewhere. Maybe you get three for us, maybe they grow money. So this story might not be good though for some of you. But also, it's also good if you want to check me how this uh Government officials, politicians are buying a lot of things without uh, accountability. And we know exactly where they are getting this money from. But if now ordinary Nigerians like you and I, you know, the thing is that the FCC is going, going to abuse it. They will forget the reason why they even will pass that, what they are fighting for into law. They will start pursuing ordinary Nigerians. If person carry iPhone, the iPhone, the 15, they go, police go ask her, how did you buy this iPhone 15? Where you forget money, buy iPhone 15. They go forget, say the reason why they decide to pursue this law is for treasury looters. Nigeria money looters. That's why they want the fight for this law. But if they approve this law now, <laughs> police go ask you how you take buy this t-shirt. EFCC go ask you why why you did chop? How you take pay for that food? Me you did chop? Yeah, that's exactly. It's a good development. I'm not saying not a good development, but they're going to misuse it now. The development not there yet, though. That they catch people, they ask people how they take buy things. Well, it's good and not good. In between. So let's talk about your savage. Then after that, we go over to Mr. Ibu. Tiba Savage is spending her money. She's the queen. And she's supposed to spend her money. She's the queen. And she is supposed to spend her money. So Tiba Savage decided to drop 
I think uh, uh, more than one million pounds on an apartment, and uh, apparently to spend one point something billion. Well, if converted to one point something, one point five, one point five something, or above that billion on an apartment in London. So, according to Afro Nigeria, they said Tiba Sabe just bought a one point two million dollars, one point seven billion naira house in London, and Tiba Sabe posted about it. So, it's not fake. It's her spending her money, and she posted about it. The apartment is great, too. You should check the video so far. That apartment is nice, you know. It's about time these are musicians start spending their money. Spend your money. We know so you not get money. You not just the eye. Spend your money. Spend the money. Spend the money. I also give back to community. You know, I posted a video that I talked about. It's about time Nigeria entertain and start uh, looking for a way to start giving back to Nigerians. Give it back to community, not just by spraying money in the street, not just by carrying money and throwing it on the ground. You know, start building something, structures, affordable housing for Nigeria. Just build one big estate, you know, but make it affordable for people to rent. You know, that alone eh, go really big. We is it's an idea. That house is also that apartment. Everything is your property. But you are building it because you want people to be able to afford it. For example, if someone is paying somewhere 600,000 naira for a one bedroom flat, and if you build it, you might decide to give out for just 150,000. You make it affordable. It's still your property. 150,000 naira per year. I bet you your name will go far. Your name will go far. You know, please, it's an idea. You naturally do not need to dash it out, but just make it affordable for people so that every other landlord will learn that there should be humanity. Everything is just skyrocketing, skyrocketing, skyrocketing. They, uh, uh, they will tell you, uh, invest in property. You are investing in property just to make this massive gain. And if you buy a property that already skyrocketed for $1.7 million, uh, one, 1 1.2 million pounds, be rest assured that if you are selling it, you are going to sell it way above that, right? And that person is buying it. If you want to sell it, it's going to sell it way above that, right? You know, the everything just they go up. You know, will stop. So please, what does it attain as it's about time? Tiba Savage, big congratulations to you. You deserve it. And I think it's about time. All those that attain start coming back home to find a way to give back to the community. Please, huh? So let's talk about Mr. Ibu. May, may, he, uh, may he get well really, really soon. I wish him all the best. Firstly, I want to make that clear. So yesterday, it was a rumor that Mr. Ibu had to go, had to undergo another operation to amputate his second leg. That was the rumor yesterday, to amputate his second leg. This lady said, good afternoon, Nigerians. We appreciate everyone that has come through for my dad. Uh, saying we are grateful is another statement and only the lord can thank you all enough for every help you have uh, rendered as of 1 p.m no today dad has gone through several successful surgery but to keep him alive and increase the chance of recovering well okay okay that was who hold message sorry for everyone reading that someone posted about it yesterday that uh, mr ibu uh was uh went uh undergone another surgery to amputate his second leg. But uh, Mr. Abel, however, issued a public statement yesterday. He said that was entirely false. And uh, But however, they say Mr. Abel also can hardly talk. So they issued a statement. They said, although Mr. Abel really underwent uh, another surgery yesterday, but it was not to amputate the second leg. It was not to amputate the second leg. It was uh, to further amputate the leg they already amputated, so that it, we have better chances to be alive. To be alive, they said. The doctors are gone ahead to amputate same leg further to ensure we didn't lose him. I'm trying to read out the statement, guys. Sorry.
Mr. Ibu Kai, we have to take good care of our head, too. Please, huh? please. We have to start taking good care of our head, honestly. We need to start. Start now. Start now. Start now. No tossing you, you, no tossing you are still young. Me, myself, I have been dulling over my health, but I'm think I, I will start now. I've started taking care of myself, and please do take you do take good care of yourself as well. Eh? Make we know they pass through. Make we know whoever passed through with it, Mr. Ebu passed through or passing through currently. We wish him all the best, and uh, I hope he gets well really, really soon. This is so. I'm still trying to get the message from Mr. Ebu, and. Uh, and from Mr. Ibu and his family concerning the application. Okay, let me read this one from my Insta blog. Even without people reading itself, the narration is that Mr. Ibu said he's entirely okay, but his, his family, not himself, his family said he's entirely okay. He can hardly talk that he had to undergo another operation the same they already amputated their leg they have to amputate it further to give him better chances to survive child oh wow the man don't go through so much pain God. God. we have to take good care of ourselves guys take good care of yourself Take good care of yourself. Take good care of yourself. 